What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Django with Python for web development tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is the admin app that comes with your Django application. So uh, the first thing we need to do if we want to utilize the admin is, um, as you'll see, if we go to our website, okay, and you want to go to admin, you just do slash admin, and you get here, and then you start thinking, hmm, uh, what do I do now? Admin, admin? No, <laughs> right? So you don't have an admin, you don't know what the login is. So the first thing you have to do is actually create a super user or an admin. So that's what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna go ahead and break the running server and we'll go up here and get manage.py. And what we wanna do is Python manage.py create super user, hit enter. And then now you can define the user. I'll just call mine admin email address, uh, hskinsley at gmail.com, password, whatever you want it to be. I think I picked a pretty pretty good one. Okay, got our user, and I need to log in before I forget the password. So <laughs> we'll come over here, and the username will be admin. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to uh, run the server, create super user. So manage.py run server. Uh, and now what we want to do is log in. So you'll go, you know, your, your website slash admin, password. Good. Okay. So once you've done that, you log in. This is the Django administration. So you'll see here that you've got uh, groups and you've got users in here. Uh, and then what you could do is, you know, you can click on groups, for example. There, we don't have any groups, but you could like plus add a group and do fancy stuff here. And you can go into users and look at that. There we are. And we could set, um, you know, are we an active user? If you uncheck this, it's basically the equivalent of deleting an account. It doesn't delete the account, but it doesn't let them log in. Staff status, super user status. You can create custom groups and give very specific custom user uh, permissions. What can the, this user actually do? You've got all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. But we don't really care that much about that. What we really want is... Well, we want a pony, right? We want to be able to access our blog table basically here uh, and edit the blog, post blogs, do everything via this administration panel, okay? Because we want a pony. So what we're going to do is uh, first we have to admit that we're not going to get a pony, but Django's going to give us something close to a pony. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into blog and you should already have an admin.py file. Go ahead and open that up. And you'll see that we're importing some stuff naturally. And then you can register your models here. So what we're going to do is from blog.models import posts. So that's our post class, which defines that table and all that fun stuff. Now what we're going to do is simple admin.site.register. And we register post. Save that. Come back to your admin panel. Go back to the home. Boom, there's post. Oh my goodness. So now you can see that oh, we got add and change. And we can also click, but there's zero post. But then we can also add a post here. So let's go ahead and add a post. Ermagerd. Django is awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, and then for date, what's cool is you can very quickly just say today, right now, and uh, save and add another, let's say. Is today really December? For, oh my goodness, it's December. Anyway, <laughs> probably by the time anybody's seeing this, it'll be even later. Anyway, uh, save, and you can either save and continue editing. You can save and add another, or you could just save, and we'll save and add another. And um, then we'll say, amazing, grace, today and now, save and add another, uh, hello, world, good, hiya, and then we'll do today and now. But you can also do like this, like you could say, uh, this post was back in September, okay, save. All right, so now these are our admin blog and posts. So let's go back home 
and you would like if you just logged in admin you'd see this you could click on posts see like oh, okay cool here's all our posts hello world and blah 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 and you could edit it you could delete it you could save and continue editing and save and add another cool so now what if we just go to our home page and we click on blog there's our information right it's just there and sure enough the titles are links and in our excitement we click on one and ah it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work, you ask? Well, of course, we don't have any URL path that explains uh, or works with slash blog slash two. We can even see, well, at least here's slash blog, but this is the homepage, right? It required it to be slash blog, not slash blog two. So now what we have to do is create uh, the handling. We need the URLs, we need a view. Um, for the individual posts. So um, that's what we're gonna be covering in the next tutorial. This one should be quick and easy, quick and painless, easy enough for you guys to get up to this point. But if you had any problems, uh, feel free to leave them below. One thing to keep in mind, if this is the first time you visited the admin, which if you're following along, it probably was. If it didn't work for whatever reason, you can always go to my site, go to settings and make sure admin is installed. So you'd come down here, make sure that you have this line. It should be there by default. Um, but if it's not there for whatever reason, you might need to add that part. Okay, so uh, that's that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.